Hello students. Today we're going to look at section 3.5 which is arithmetic sequences. Arithmetic sequences are sequences or a series of numbers with a common difference. For example, an arithmetic sequence might be 1, 3, 5, 7, dot, 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 and the dot, dot, dot means it continues on forever. And the common difference between these two is plus 2. Each one of these numbers in the sequence is called a term of the sequence, and this is our common difference. Very important vocabulary for you to know. An arithmetic sequence means it has a common difference. The term is each individual number in the sequence. And we're going to look at how to find an equation to figure out any term in the sequence way on down the line without having to write the entire line out. So let's look at three sets of sequences and see if they actually are arithmetic. And if they are arithmetic, what is the common difference? So I have negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2. And I need to see, is there a common difference between these? How do I get from negative 4 to negative 2? I add 2. From negative 2 to 0, I add 2. And from 0 to 2, I add 2. So yes, it is an arithmetic sequence. And the common difference is positive 2. I'm going to use a different color. Just so now I have 1 half, 5 eighths, 3 fourths, and 13 sixteenths. So let's see about this one. 1 half to 5 eighths. Well, I know that 1 half is 4 eighths, so 1 half to 5 eighths, 4 eighths to 5 eighths would be plus 1 eighth. And 5 eighths to 3 fourths. Well, 3 fourths is 6 eighths, so 5 eighths to 6 eighths would be plus 1 eighth. So I've got 3 fourths to 13 sixteenths. Well, if I change 3 fourths to uh, something over 16, that's going to be 12 over 16, and 12 sixteenths to 13 sixteenths is plus 1 sixteenth. Do I have a common difference? I started off with 1, but then something threw it in there. So this is not an arithmetic sequence. And that's all. Now what about this one? 15, 9, 3, and negative 3. So how did I get from 15 to 9? I subtracted 6. What about from 9 to 3? I subtracted 6. 3 to negative 3. I subtracted 6. Do I have a common difference for all of them? Absolutely. So it is an arithmetic sequence, and my common difference is negative 6. Okay, now we're going to look at how to find the nth term of a sequence. And yes, that is nth, the nth term of a sequence. Now the nth term is a, is, is a number in a sequence that's way down the line, and it's used to find any term of the sequence. The nth term could be the hundredth term of the sequence, or the fiftieth term of the sequence, or the thousandth term of the sequence, or the twenty-second term of the sequence, any of those. But we're going to come up with an equation to find the nth term so that we can find any term in the sequence that we want to. So we need to do a little explanation first, okay? And I'm going to give you some new symbols that you need to write down and know how to use. So the first term in our sequence is 8. And since it's the first term, we're going to call it A sub 1. A with the subscript of 1. The 1 means it's the first term in the sequence, okay? The symbol, actually I put that in the wrong place. It's the first term in the sequence. So the symbol is A sub 1. Okay, and the phrase is just a sub 1. That's not an I, that's a 1. Okay, now our second term is 11. So we know that's the second term in the sequence. And if it's the second term in the sequence, we're going to call that a sub 2. Well, how did we get that term? We took a sub 1 and added our common difference, which is D. A sub 1 and added our common difference, which is D. 
Now, in this case, the common difference is 3. So if I take a sub 1, which is 8, plus 3, I get 11. Okay? Well, let's look at the third term. The third term is going to be a sub 3. Well, how did I get that? I took a sub 1, and I'm always going to start with a sub 1 when I look at the phrase. a sub 1, and I added what? To get from 8 to 14, that adds 6. Well, what does that relate to the common difference? The common difference is 3, so that's 2 times the common difference. Okay? So a sub 3 is a sub 1, which is the first term, plus 2 times my common difference. What about the fourth term? That would be a sub 4. How did I get a sub 4? I took a sub 1 and added 3 times my common difference. Okay? My common difference in this case is 3, so 3 times 3 is 9, and 9 plus 8 is 17. Now let's say I'm going to go dot, 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 and I want to find the nth term of the sequence. Now the nth term of the sequence would be a sub n. Because we don't know which term we're talking about, that's why it's the variable. Now the phrase for that is, let me just to look back, okay. Um, look at this 3. Where did this 3 come from? It's 4 minus 1. This 2 is 3 minus 1. This 1 is 2 minus 1. So we're going to start with a sub 1, but then we're going to add n, which is the number of the term, minus 1 times d. And that will give us the nth term in the sequence, and we don't know what it is. This is the phrase that you need to have known and memorized because that's the way you're going to find any term in a sequence. So let's say I want to find the 50th term in the sequence. 50th term in this sequence, 8, 11, 14, 17. Now I could add 3 every time and get to the 50th term, or I could use this little phrase. I know I'm looking for the 50th term, so n is going to be 50. So I'm going to use a sub 1, which is 8, plus 50 minus 1 times 3. 8 plus 50 times 1 is 49, and 49 times 3 is 147, if I'm not correct, if I'm not mistaken. So 147 plus 8, the 50th term in this sequence is going to be 155. Quick and easy way to find the nth term. That's the phrase you need to know. a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times. So let's take this sequence, negative 12, negative 8, negative 4, 0, dot, 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 and let's figure out what the equation for the nth term is. Okay? So I know that the, the, the equation for the nth term is a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. So I've got to figure out what... Um, a sub 1 and d are, so I can keep going. So a sub 1 is negative 12 because that is the first term in our sequence. And then I add n minus 1 because that's always going to be n minus 1. We don't know what n is yet. Times d. Well, what is d? What's my common difference? How did I get from negative 12 to negative 8? I added 4. Negative 8 to negative 4? Added 4. Four, negative 4 to 0? I added 4. So there we go. So that is the phrase that I would use to find the nth term. Now let's find the 25th term in the sequence. Okay? So the 25th term would be negative 12 plus 25 minus 1 times 4. So I got negative 12 plus 24 times 4. And 24 times 4, if I'm not mistaken, is 96. So negative 12 plus 96 is ne uh, not negative, positive 84. So the 25th term in this sequence, if I just kept adding 4 all the way down to uh, 21 more times, then I would get 84 is the 25th term in my, my sequence. So the important part of today is knowing how to write this 
a uh, little phrase to find the nth term and then being able to plug in the term which term you're looking for to find your answer. Before I give you your practice problems, I want to extend this just a little bit more, okay? We've got this phrase, negative 12 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times 4. And that was the way to find the nth term of the last sequence that we just did. Well, what does all that equal? You're right. It equals a sub n. Okay? So now what we want to do is we want to take this a sub n equals, and we want to create a nice little neat little equation for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my distributive property and I'm going to combine like terms, and we're going to find equa an equation to find a sub n. So a sub n equals negative 12, and then I'm just going to do the distributive property backwards. So plus 4n minus 4. Okay? So now a sub n equals, I'm going to combine negative 4 and negative 12, and I'm going to put 4 in first just because I like to. 4n minus 16. So the equation that I would use to find the nth term is a sub n equals 4n minus 16. I just took the phrase that we created, the first term times the quantity of n minus 1 times the common difference, which was 4. Uh, use the distributive property, combine like terms, and that's my equation. So what you're going to need to do in these cases is also find the equation after you found the phrase for finding the nth term. And here are your two practice problems for this video. One is to write the uh, next three terms in the sequence. Okay, here's my sequence, five, one, negative three. What are the next three terms in that? Just figure out what they are, write them down. The second one is to write an equation to find the nth term for the sequence in number one. Figure out the common difference. Write the phrase, use distributive property to write the equation that's going to start with, it's going to start with a sub n equals, and then you're going to tell me what the equation is. Those are your two practice problems. Take a picture of your practice problems and submit it through Edmodo.